Yeah. Woo. I bet you. It's like, wait a minute. How's it going? You go on uh share this on Facebook. Let's got a <sighs> Let me see if I can get a couple people watching us. This is uh my first time doing a um a stake out here for YouTube. And uh <laughs> what I got here is uh we, we found a new dump site over here on our back street, right over where we have a ton of dumping that goes on anyway. And uh I found some information. I'm just I'm sorry, I'm trying to keep an eye out for this guy. But I found some information that led me to a uh a property company and it was just dumped off. I actually think Lisa uh, came up on accidentally came upon the guy while he was dumping and uh, she did get a license plate for him but what we did is uh, we were able to get um, the, the the commitment of the company to have that guy come out right away and pick this up so that's what we're gonna do how's it going Oregon CB from Oregon how you doing uh, we're so tired of people dumping in our neighborhoods we we work hard Really hard, tirelessly. I went to go check out a different dump site or a suspicious vehicle, and I just happened upon. Right. I happened upon it. Yeah, and, you, <laughs> yeah, and you couldn't find anything in that dump site, right? No. Yep. So, uh, we, we don't always get it, um, get it all the time. But uh, for folks that that are wondering, where the hell is Faulkner at? Where is this dude at? And. Uh, it's because I've been on Facebook a lot. YouTube sucks. It's it's been a terrible platform for quite a while now, at least two years now, and it's it's uh it sucks sometimes. <laughs> so YouTube is a, a bigger platform for me uh, when it comes to uh, people that are watching me. So, uh, hey, well, how's it going, Alex? This I am actually over by my house. I'm over at uh Pilgrim in Iliad. That's where the dump site. You want to come over here? Bring a uh, a crew with you or send somebody out that'd be kind of cool <laughs> channel two <laughs> right. but uh yeah they did a remodel of, of this house and she just completely denied it when i called her up at first and uh not me not me yeah not me not me you know and until i mentioned another address because she's like oh they don't have enough, nothing on uh, me you know you've only got my home address you don't have the address of the dump site from where the dump came from and I repeated uh, the other address that I found, uh, and lo and behold, yeah, lo and behold, I just seen a car go go by. Like, oh she's God. the taxpayer on the house. She is the taxpayer in the house, uh, and and their company is. She uh, literally clammed right up, and and I, they're probably watching right now. And I want to thank you, Joe, for calling me up and, and that's her husband and he says he's gonna get jimmy out here right away to clean up this mess but jimmy. what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and collect enough information that jimmy gets the ticket he's the guy that's responsible for dumping out here uh in our neighborhood uh and i've given him till nine o'clock in the morning if not I'm inclined to do a return to sender and that's they something did say in the next 20 minutes but someone with a pickup truck uh was here right when we pulled up and they fled pretty quickly right <laughs> left about what probably about 10 pounds of nails too i snatched those bad boys up whatever we'll use them some other guy was getting scrap off the pile i don't know if that's jimmy but right well, we're gonna wait out here we're gonna keep you guys with us just uh, in case you get a live <laughs> fuck that edition <laughs> right <laughs> it's just it sucks too because uh it's been a long time and it's gonna be really quickly when they come out here that's when we're gonna roll so you're gonna have to stay tuned until then or stay patient with me i i can't dictate when these guys are gonna come i'm gonna make sure this thing goes in her hands because i suck at videotaping obviously you guys know that um yeah you know that that is the plan if they don't play ball with us and get this cleaned up by nine o'clock in the morning i'm inclined to do a return sender and uh, I'll take it to their we, Southfield home. Yeah, Actually, we, we let I'll, them know that. Right. They know full well. <laughs> Thank you, Luis. I appreciate that. Oh, Colorado, Philadelphia. 
Nice. Thanks, Minnesota. Guys. Hi. <laughs> yeah, Philly, but Detroit in your heart. Right on. Vancouver Island. Awesome. Another another guy from Oregon. Have you guys been wondering, you know, where's this where's this guy at? What happened to his channel? I know I, it's been a while since I've, I've put We're not something gone. out here. We're not gone. I've, I've got a ton of uh, stuff to put out there. I just haven't had time uh, with my busy life to uh, to put all the all the videos out there. But I'm probably going to bombard you really soon here if the snow starts flying. Uh, a bunch of videos from the summer. So uh, It's under my personal name, Jonathan Palmerville. And uh, yeah, or uh, I do have a... Uh, Camera Crusaders page, but I you barely don't. ever use it just because uh, I think everybody's. I wanted to brand it when I first started doing this, not as me, but uh, it's kind of become me. So I appreciate you guys watching us, especially my big fans in Minnesota. I appreciate that. Hi, Stephen Mortimer. I hope you're out there watching. Just hi. <laughs> cool right on yeah you know detroit's changing a lot uh downtown i just went downtown uh last week and it it changes every time i go down there so it's uh it's but bring your money because it's really rich down there now uh <laughs> i don't do anything down there too much anymore yeah, you know, the tickets, I think, is probably, what, $1,000, I think they are now? What, dumping tickets? Mm -hmm. No, they're still 500 If it's medical waste, it's... 1500 it's... bucks. so that it was, I th because they weren't taking the cars. Right, I don't know. So that was then part of it. I think it was around 1500 bucks. We haven't issued very many tickets, because thankfully, you know, uh, we've been pretty polite this year. Uh, we've caught plenty of dump dump sites um and got a hold of the owners and they came and cleaned it up and then they promised to help us with our nonprofit and community cleanups to come back so we're holding them to task sort of deal it's kind of a give and take situation i don't know yeah it's kind me, of me i'd rather just get the ticket and fuck off <laughs> and then come back and help us once you realize you know the undertake we're we're trying to you know yeah, we're, ju we're just trying to make sure that th there's just nobody dumping in our neighborhoods. Not not just my neighborhood. We do help other people out, too. It's so cute. You told me not to swear, and here I am. I'm like, oh, I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> she says what's on, whatever is on her mind. That's what it, it makes is. me love her so much. It pukes out of my mouth. I apologize, YouTube world. I apologize. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, you know, I, I really do think I seen I, I, that vehicle come by through here earlier. The black pickup. Right. You know, I told you I saw a purple pickup, a very dark purple. It's on my it's on my DVR. Oh, with the trailer? No, but he headed like this way, and there was I I was on my way to work. There was nothing I could do. You know, I wasn't gonna. But I'd never seen it before. Are you the Are you the guy that actually? Uh, Posted the posted the video of the sorry about that. Um what was it? Sing mechanic. You've been busting dumpers out there in Seattle. If you got any videos of you doing it, please post them. That's that's awesome. I'd love to see somebody else doing it. Right. No, actually the dumping here for somebody that lives in the city of Detroit, it's absolutely free. There is a there is one stipulation. It has to be household items. It cannot be construction material. So she said she was gonna have somebody come out here with a Detroit address and pick this up and take it. It's not gonna work out that way. Uh, for a regular truck truckload, I think it's like thirty bucks. If you've got a larger vehicle, it's probably gonna cost you around seventy bucks. Uh, but a truck bed is is, is usually about seventy bucks. I am, I'm sorry, 30, 30 to 70 bucks, depending on how big your truck is. So it's not that expensive. I mean, if, if you can't figure that out in your budget, you're doing it wrong. And then you get a $500 ticket because you have people like us willing well, to write And then if you it. get caught, they take your vehicle, which right. is another $1,000. It's just, 
it's not worth it. And that's what we want to do is we want to make sure that these folks are very aware of what's going on, that they can't be doing this. I, I allowed this last, this guy to know, you know, uh, like I said, this last year, we have been kind of getting lax on ticketing people as long as they came and picked it up. But, you know, just because you come pick it up, you just know not to dump in our general area anymore. Right. You're going to go dump it somewhere else, five streets over where we're not paying attention, but guess we're still paying attention, you know, and I need, I need the world to know that. I need the world to know that. Do it, David. We're still paying attention. Make sure you go after those dumpers. If you see them, get into action, you know, that's, that's not that all that hard. Literally what we do, uh, you know, we started out, gosh, we didn't think we were going to, you know, uh to even find anything you know and then we found out how stupid these folks are that they leave <laughs> all their information in here yes. i mean literally they could take out like two three pieces of information and take it in and stick it in their pocket oh 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 here we go we got a pickup truck oh don't don't pass nope, by no no yeah that's the lady that lives oh okay <laughs> damn it man damn <laughs> <laughs> i don't want to wait forever to do this but uh that's why I told him I was afraid to go live on YouTube because we don't know that we're going to even see any results. But wish us luck, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, we're not going anywhere. But this is what we do, you know? When we put videos together, we have hours and hours and hours of video. Yeah, and we got to... We gotta... Of us just sitting here staking stuff out. <laughs> <laughs> She's trying so hard. I'm trying really hard not to swear. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I usually do this on Facebook uh, because I, I, I get a pretty big following on Facebook. Uh, YouTube had shut down my uh, my uh, no, that's okay. my live for uh, uh, quite a few times uh, over the last two years. And uh, God, they're rolling slow though, like like hooker slow. Like we drive by and make sure them fuckers ain't <laughs> really? ain't there. <laughs> He's uh, calling them, nah, man, they ain't here. They ain't here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Please just show up. <laughs> we are hardly celebrities, David. <laughs> no, the city had just come through and physically cleaned up the, uh, the entire street that that we're waiting on and then two days later someone dumped um in our normal spot and then someone dumped a dead dog right here at the corner yeah right around the corner from us um so i've been driving by here daily you know anytime i'm in my car i'm driving through to see if anything else has happened um unfortunately you know i got i had to see the dog they it's right out in the open He's not even wrapped in a tarp or a garbage bag or anything. He's just a beautiful little pitbull. I'm just dumped off. Yeah, well, that's it. Kind of hardens you a little bit when you think about that stuff, you know. Just uh, did you savages. see it earlier? Yeah, I took pictures of it. All right. Jekylls. Savages. Like savages do that shit. They just right. have no respect for anything. Let alone the neighborhood. Oh, my name is Jonathan Palmerville. That's all you got to do is look that up. And uh, most of the time I go live on there. Um, I'm bringing yeah. it to YouTube right yeah. now because my live works on YouTube. And, you know, and there's been a lot of you folks that have been really, really loyal to us. And, and uh, it's funny because if you look at my analytics, I get like 10% of the people that watch my videos actually subscribe and uh, I appreciate the folks that have subscribed to us and uh, Thank you. and want to see see our efforts here in, in the in the city Oakland County right on this was never our uh... yeah it was never our intentions to uh, and you know right. like no. some people view us as celebrities I don't think I'm a celebrity no. I'm just somebody who gets into action when uh, when we don't have any other you are, you're you're the voice for you're the voice for Brightwater because we have no voice. <laughs> we truly have no voice. You call nine one one. All right, Adam, Beto. Brightmore native out there. All right. Where'd you live at, Adam? Nine one one doesn't show up. They hang up on you. It's ridiculous.
No, you, you know, I thought that they would have learned by now not to be dumping here in the neighborhood, you know, and uh, they... Uh, we thought we would have to broaden our horizon. Right, you know, and I don't have to go, I don't have to go very far. I do help out other neighborhoods. If somebody reaches out to me out, out here and, and they oh, usually reach out really to me on quick. Facebook and stuff... Oh, uh, oh that's Jeremy Lee. <laughs> He's probably gonna come over here and, like, and fuck with who's us. Who's this car? <laughs> he knows who we are. <laughs> but uh, West Park. Okay, West Parkway and Finkel. Right on. Yeah, that's right over by me. It's, I mean, right over by me. So. Yeah, West Parkway is what two streets over from us. Right. Right. Uh, you know what? I probably should say that uh, we're waiting on a dumper that has uh, came in probably sometime today. I really think she caught him in the middle of dumping, and uh, she did get a, a plate and a little bit of video of the guy, but she was going through and, and picking out the information that while well, the guy was out there and stuff. And, and uh, hey, He said he was just scrapping. If you're, yeah, if and then, then I told if her... If you're I'm illegally like, dumping, I'm on the site pulling out <laughs> names and addresses while you're doing what you're doing. Right. <laughs> I don't give a mother hell a dude. You know, that that's the funny part is she was doing that, you know, and uh, it's like, you know, and she said that he was backed up into the into the lot, uh, picking out scrap, and I'm like, of course he's picking out scrap, you know. You just caught him dumping. <laughs> I don't know how many times we've caught people that you know go straight from dumping to picking up their mess, you know. Right. So, well, I'm just here doing some innocent. Yeah, <laughs> I don't belong around here, but I'm gonna go ahead and scrap in your in all your piles. I, Although the guy did say a Ford truck, and that was a Dodge truck. No, no, no. I, I, I don't believe a word, dude. I believe you caught the guy, the, I, because the guy had no reason back. I up wish to I would have had bigger balls then, but I knew no, if you I should have come home and got me. I should. <laughs> it's always you should come home and get me. Well, when you're in the, when you're in the moment, you know what if he's not there when we come back, and then I got nothing. So I just do it. Just do it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. uh, you're lucky. I'm live. <laughs> you want to try me? <laughs> don't 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 try me. <laughs> How long have we all been cops? <laughs> I, we're not cops. <laughs> no, we're not trying he, to be cops. We're just regular people. It got dark pretty quick. I don't think he's coming out. Oh, he's coming. <laughs> he said they said twenty minutes. That was uh two. Two minutes before I went online here, so we're uh, we're working on it. I'm like perhaps you should call him from our from my phone. Where, where's your boy? Where, it's still here. It's been 20 minutes. <laughs> no, we don't have any snow yet. We're supposed to be getting like uh, ooh, there goes some deer. We just missed that. It was in the middle of the road there. Um, okay. What we're supposed to get like seven to. 10 Shut like up, this weekend, really? This weekend. That's what they're projecting. Every projection for snow yet this year has not come true for us. So, how to how do you ticket people if you are not the police? Well, the best part about it is is we work with the city of Detroit. We actually have officers that will write tickets from my videos, uh, and that's it. Uh, you don't. The cop doesn't need, need any more proof than we've. What? Well, yeah. When we go to police, we hand it to him on a silver platter. Here you go. Here's please, all the information. Please take care. Of all it. they got to do is write the ticket. Right. You know, and and people do fight it in court. Yeah. And then they lose once the video gets shown. It's. Oh, he's gonna come over and fuck with us. Brilliant. <laughs> Let me go talk to him. Hey, he's got a gun. I yeah. I know. I know. Yeah. Jeremy, it's Palmerville. <laughs> You're a crazy son of a bitch, man. <laughs> no, oh, he's gonna come and fucking gun us down. I put it out there, man. Right, 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 right there. Here, on Elias. Yep, next to this next door to this house. You got her neighbor we out here with his long gun. The dumper. We, we contacted them and he. 
like, we'll be here in 25 minutes. Two guys just walked in the house. I figured this was your guys. It looked like your guys. Two guys just walked in the house. I bullshit you not. Like 10 minutes ago. I seen you in that house? And I figured maybe someone's doing a welfare check on her house, which is cool because she ain't here all the time. Right. But I just watched you guys walk in the house literally while I was making a hamburger. I'm like, these motherfuckers. Yeah, dude, I know it. This is public on those. I'm live on YouTube, man. Crazy neighbor. This is your crazy neighbor, man. Come out here with a mask on and a gun. So, so. Let me get out of here real quick. morning or like this time right, yeah, like right. Time I actually think him. she came across him because he was actually backed up there was a guy backed up and he's like picking up scrap I think she caught him she did get his license plate and stuff like that but I did talk to the owner of the uh, of the shit it's right. a, a real estate company realty company and and he's like this is some bullshit I'm calling Jimmy right now and having him come pick everything up so he's supposed to come out so here. come on jimmy <laughs> come on jimmy come get your, shit. Man, your word it was a white guy that uh that she caught out here uh earlier but he says it was a Just black all man these fucking contractors that know about brightmore from somewhere or another yeah. and they bring their bullshit in here all the way from bloomfield hills or wherever <laughs> let me uh let me see if i could turn this around here real quick <laughs> Yeah, I want you to show everybody here. <laughs> this is what this is what it's all about right here, man. <laughs> you don't fuck around. You don't fuck around on his street, man. <laughs> oh, shit. No, it's uh. No, they'll actually watch my videos. I'm talking to people out here. Uh, they watch my videos, and they'll write from from the videos. So uh, that in. If they need additional information, they'll go ahead and contact me. I don't like that. I must somebody have a always filter knows on. somebody. That's the whole thing about it. Right. You putting a word out. Yeah. It makes it even better. Yeah, and he's one of our our eyes out here too. He's one of our neighbors that'll uh, that'll come out and get into action. <laughs> you think he'd rec? You need some glasses. You think he recognized our vehicle by now? <laughs> no, I thought that was yours. I was walking over here. I could have swore I seen two people walking the house. All right. This? You mean this one here, or that that, that one? one? This one here? I saw someone walk right in the front porch into the house. Really? Fucking crackheads, dude. On me. Yeah. That gold SUV that was sitting around here comes back and forth, and they'll sit in front of there, and they'll go in there every so often and just park like overnight and literally stay in the house come out the next morning and leave. Get the fuck out of here. No, I'm not even playing. And people have been doing the same shit in the house over there behind me, not the one where they dump all the garbage in front, but that little slab house next to it. Really? Yeah. You think they're humping or? I think they're getting high. Just getting high and passing yeah, out? Yeah, they're getting high, yeah. Heroin addicts? Yeah, there's a bunch of needles and shit around the front door, and once you get inside the front door and everything. Yeah, I try to stay out of those houses anymore or just, you know. And <laughs> yeah, man, these people are crazy. I don't want to run into more, more dead bodies. <laughs> it, you know, that's the worst part, man. I've been calling animal control all week. I keep getting sent to a voicemail. There's a dead pit bull, like, right yeah, there. Yeah, I've right seen next that. that leaf pile. It's been there for about a week now. I've been steadily calling What is that day. called? What's that, what's that site called? Um, EPD Connect or the other one? Uh, Click on Detroit. Improve Detroit. Improve Detroit. I'm sorry. Improve Detroit. Improve Detroit. I was it's an app. Are you talking Literally. about the dog? Yeah. I was going to report it, and I just haven't yet. I'm sorry. I've been to every time I call animal control, it's like, we'll connect you to this, and you push this, push that, and then eventually you go to a line where someone's just like, hello, we cannot answer the phone right now. Right. Please leave a message. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, I live at this address. My right. name is this. Here's my callback number. There's a dead pit bull laying over here. Someone dropped out. Well, if you use that Imp Improved Detroit app, you can you can even do anonymous. But what it does is sends a, a work ticket to the mayor's office. So not only does the work crews, like uh, DPW gets it, so does the mayor's office. And, and they make sure it gets done. I mean, literally. It'll, right. be done, it'll be gone within three days you put it on that app. Improved Detroit. Improved Detroit app. Okay. It's simple as shit. You, just, you can pinpoint exactly where it's at, address, 
And uh, if you can't find the address, you can go to, just go to uh, Loveland and you can find addresses quick that way. Or Google. All right, John Miller. Give me two bucks. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube sucks, though, because they take 50% of that shit. What? Yeah. If, you, if somebody, because I got Super Chat on here, and when people give, give money to us... It, uh, 50%? They take 50% of it. Well, then they should hand 25% of what they take back. Right. <laughs> they take, look like good guys. They take 50% of, uh, oh, so of any shit. kind of the ads, too. That's bullshit. Yeah, it's crazy. I can't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they... Think this guy's going to show up? I don't know. I think they're... Uh, I think he's afraid. I think he's really afraid. <laughs> don't want the be. publicity? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't think his boss wants the publicity of me actually bringing it to their front door tomorrow because Fox 2 is actually, was, uh, somebody from Fox 2 is watching and he's like, he's like, where you at? Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> I need a story for 10 o'clock. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> he just gave me another two bucks. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> I appreciate that, John Miller. <laughs> That was cool. So now you two got their 50, their 50%. Yeah. You out without getting your $2. Plus. <laughs> we, actually, uh, we actually have a, uh, a deal where I, I think I have a link in my uh, uh, about me section that you can donate to us that no charge at all. Uh, yeah, I'd like to do that more. I yeah, you. Some middleman and the damn money. I mean, that ain't fair. Right. Oh, YouTube takes half and. Right. Why? <laughs> so what Why? I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a uh, I'm gonna get a few cameras to put around the neighborhood and stuff. I'll, I'll clue you in a little bit more onto it. I, w I was looking into them too after I seen the uh, news thing where they put a couple up. They're pretty cool. They're pretty expensive, but I mean they're pretty useful. I mean you can rewind like as far as you want, record as much as you want. I mean I'm gonna get these blink uh, ones that I can actually. Uh, they're battery powered and stuff like that and I can just put them remotely out. I just recorded it, just so you know. Okay. It'll take them probably two or three days, maybe. Report it on, click on. Improved Detroit. Improved Detroit. I know, I always think about click on Detroit and that's channel four, isn't it? Right, that's the same as me. I watch all the news channels all day, seven, uh, you know, four, two, I watch all of them. This guy's not coming back. In between. You know, the donations goes to Honest Plot. We actually have a couple cleanup dates that we have a year um, where we actually bring in volunteers and uh, we, we help out neighbors. Uh, we clean up the blight that comes into the neighborhood. I haven't posted any of that stuff out here because that wasn't, um, I just started posting on here just to, I don't know why I started posting on here. And you know what, it was one of the guys pissed me off and he kept on creeping by my house and stuff. And that's actually what really made me put all this stuff out here. Uh, I didn't even want any of the notoriety for doing any of this, but we also like to clean up the neighborhood. We've cleaned up, uh, we, we've got a, our neighborhood group has got, what is it, about 13 streets that we target here? Right. Um, by 13 streets by four blocks long. And uh, what we do is we try to help out the older folks in the neighborhood, clean out their gutters, try and get rid of the, the bad trees, I mean, if you look at a lot of these trees around here, they're as old as, um, old as sin, and these things are about ready to all come down in our neighborhood, and, uh, so we, uh, so we'll do that, we, we hook up with Tree Musketeers, we took over $50,000 worth of trees down last year for free for the neighborhood, and, uh, and we've also cleaned up over, over the last few years, we've cleaned up over 300 lots, uh, boarded up over 80 homes. Uh, we've done a lot of other stuff, but uh, that's kind of, to know what you're donating to, that's what you're donating to. It's the, it, because not all the time do we, are we able to catch these dumpers. Uh, we actually have to have it cleaned up. So we partner with the city. We'll go ahead and have cleanup days. We'll get some volunteers as well, but we also feed them um, and we, buy boards for boarding up the houses it's uh it's a good it's a good time and what i'll do the next time we have one and it'll be this spring here what we'll do is we'll bring youtube along that way you can see what we're doing i think that would probably convert a lot of people over to our side because i think the uh, people get a negative view of what we're doing out here sometimes 
I think that's one reason why I only have about 90. I only have 10% of people that actually watch my videos are su subscribers. It's, it's really funny how, how little uh, subscribers I do have for the amount of views that we get. I see all the crap they talk to. Uh, yeah, move I, out of the neighborhood. I get a lot of shit talkers, that's for sure. Move out of the neighborhood. Yeah, we got a lot of these big ass oak trees. I mean, these things are just. Oh, they're dead as those shit. Those things are crazy. Some guy came, like, that was like four years ago. That tree up on the corner, that high stump, like, had like. There, there he is coming out. Walking down the street there. Oh, no shit. Yep. I told you I seen him walk up in there. Huh. Uh, he's done with his drugs. He's gonna be moseying on. He's got that lazy lock, <laughs> walk going on. Like, Fuck, my leg's still asleep from that fucking drugs. <laughs> All right, what I'm gonna do, uh, stay tuned here. If, you, if you're if you not subscribed, subscribe. Hit that bell notification because I'm gonna have to go ahead and uh, switch out batteries here. And uh, I'm gonna call this guy up and make sure that this guy comes out here today and uh if he does i'm gonna bring you guys back along no dumping in the d hold on a minute here i'll go let i'll bring you guys back soon